Last time you saw how to program Eaglet's chariot robot to give chariot a ride home. Afterwards, Eaglet asked Eva if they could go on an adventure together. To help us create adventures for Eaglet and Eva, I've created a bigger layout for them. In addition to Eaglet's house, we now have a lake, a racetrack, and an airport, plus a road to connect all these things. Eva has a cat friend named Rimsky. Eaglet has a Lego cat friend named Yellow that lives at his house. Yellow wandered off recently and Eva was worried, so she flew around the neighborhood looking for Yellow. She saw Yellow hiding in a box near the road. Eaglet has asked us to program Chariot to take him to Yellow. Let's take some measurements. To get where Yellow is, Chariot should start by backing out of the driveway at Eaglet's house, which is about four inches. Then Chariot should turn right and go straight 17 inches. Then Chariot should turn left and go 10 inches to reach the box where Yellow is hiding. Let's create a program that causes Chariot to do these things. First, create a new project. Then we name it Find Yellow. We add the block that tells the robot that we've connected its motors to the middle sockets called C and D. Next, we add a block to tell the program that each full rotation of chariot's wheels will cause it to go 17 and a half centimeters. Then we add a block that sets chariot's movement speed to 25%. We decided Eaglet should start by backing up four inches, so we need a block for that. The block we've been using for movement doesn't support backing up, so let's choose one that does and set it to back up four inches. Let's use the same type of block to turn sharply right for nine centimeters. Now let's have Chariot move forward for 17 inches. Now let's tell Chariot to turn left again for nine centimeters. Now forward for 10 inches. Let's save and try out the program. It looks like our measurements and program may worked out pretty well this time. Eaglet is happy to find yellow. We've been programming sharp right and left turns by having Chariot turn in place for 9 centimeters. Let's see what happens if we change how wide our robot is. The wheels are currently 12 centimeters apart. For this experiment, let's just move the wheels farther apart instead of making the whole robot wider. To do this, we'll change the pegs from short black ones to longer blue ones. Now the wheels are 13 centimeters apart. Now let's run the robot using the same program as before. The turns are way off now. So the 9 centimeters gave us quarter turns when the wheels were 12 centimeters apart, but not when they're 13 centimeters apart. Because the wheels are spaced farther apart, they have to go farther to move the robot the same amount. We can experiment and find a number of centimeters of turning that we need for the new wheel spacing of 13 centimeters. Instead, let's use a sensor that's inside the hub called a gyro. It allows our programs to keep track of how far the robot turns. 
Before we try using the gyro sensor, let's talk about what it is and what it does. A gyro sensor has some similarities to both a toy gyroscope and a tuning fork used by musicians. It's a set of very tiny vibrating arms that vibrate a little differently when they're turned. The tiny arms live inside an electronic chip that lives inside the Spike Prime hub. At its most basic, a gyro detects turning motions. When connected to a microcomputer like the one inside the Spike Prime hub, it can also calculate how far a robot is turned. There are three directions that a robot might turn. They're called pitch, roll, and yaw. In the case of our chariot robot, only yaw happens very often because chariot is moving around a flat surface. If we built hills, chariot might pitch up and down or roll side to side as it traveled over the hills. But since our layout doesn't have any hills, let's focus on yaw, which is the technical term for rotating right or left. A circle can be divided into 360 degrees and a right turn is a quarter of a circle. Because 360 divided by four is 90, we want to turn clockwise positive 90 degrees. When our robot needs to turn left a quarter turn, the yaw we need is negative 90 degrees. To use the gyro sensor, we need to use different blocks than when we turn for a certain number of centimeters. So let's take out the move block that makes the right turn and get ready to add some new blocks. Before we start measuring yaw, we should set it to zero. Doing so causes the direction that the robot is currently pointing to be considered zero. There's a special block for that. Then we start the turning movement to the right. Then we use a new block called wait to cause the program to wait while the movement continues. How long do we want the program to wait? In this case, we want it to continue until the yaw angle is 90 degrees or more which is the same as saying more than 89 degrees. We use a block with a symbol that means greater than. We plug the gyro sensor's yaw value into the left side and set the right side to 89. Let's read the block. Wait until yaw angle is greater than 89 degrees. Once the yaw angle is more than 89, the program will continue. At this point, we want the movement to stop until we tell Chariot what it should do next, so we add a stop moving block. Let's make similar changes to the left turn. Because Chariot will be turning left, we need a block that causes the program to wait until the yaw angle is less than negative 89 degrees. Now we're ready to save the program in our robot. Let's see if the turns happen the way we want. Yes, Cherry gets to where yellow is. But will the same program work if the wheels are back to where they were before? Let's find out. Using the gyro sensor caused the program to do the same thing even when we changed how far apart the wheels were. This means we don't have to worry about the distance between the wheels changing a little between runs because the gyro allows the program to keep track of how far the robot has turned. Eaglet and Eva are glad we helped them find Yellow, but they'd like to bring Yellow home to Eaglet's house. We'll try to figure that out next time. Oh,